What's up YouTube, Dfragon here, and today I'm going to be going over a quick DPS comparison of uh, Unholy and Dual Wielding and Frost. Uh, well, here we're going to start off with uh, Dual Wielding and Frost, and see how much I can pull with this. only bad thing about frost is it's very heavily dependent on how often killing machine procs so it's very unreliable as to how much you're actually going to do depending on how many times killing machine procs so we're reaching about 30 seconds now and where is it at current fight pulled about 20k DPS alright now I'm going to switch over to unholy I'm gonna go ahead build up my 60 runic power for to some of my gargoyle and I'm going to go ahead and get my five stacks of dark infusion on my ghoul so that I can dark transformation it alright welcome back YouTube and here in a second I'm going to show you how much DPS I can pull in Unholy. Here we go. And that's it. Uh, about 27,000 DPS with Unholy, and only about 20,000 and some DPS with uh, Frost. I just thought I would point that out. Um, needless to say, I'm going to be playing more Unholy from now on uh, over Frost. Um, I'm sorry that I couldn't release the video that I had up before this it was a lot better had some 3v3 arena content in it as well but I accidentally after editing the video together and everything I accidentally deleted it all the uh, data and had to start from scratch but I just wanted to point this out uh, unholy burst DPS is much greater than even dual wielding frost burst DPS and it's much more sustainable just takes a little bit to build up the runic power and the five stacks on your goal so I hope you like this little uh, video that I made please don't forget to like favorite and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching